Kia ora e te whanau, rika rika anau. I'm keen to make some beautiful light fixtures out of these bad boys. We're going to upcycle these ere kakahu into a beautiful designer lampshade for anybody you want to give it to. And nei ngā rauimi, 15 coat hangers. Wood for the centre disc which matches the coat hangers. Dowling rod, kāpia rākau, wood glue. Hoanga, sandpaper. Light bulb socket with a cord attached. And varnish. Ko te mahi tuatahi. First up, we have to pull the metal wire thingy out of ngā ere kākahu. The next step, we have to pull this little dowel off the bottom. Make sure you hit your wheat picks for breakfast. Remove the little brads. Do this to all 15 coat hangers. And nane, me tape here. And now we're going to cut our coat hangers in half. I'm going to use our mitre box just to start our cut. Get a nice straight line. Then I'm going to finish it off with this block I've screwed to the bench just to get our final cut right through. It's really important to get a nice straight cut. Follow the line that's on the ere kākahu and then they all should work out nice and perfectly straight. We're just going to tighten them up with the sandpaper. The next step is to uh, cut our circle. Our circle is going to be uh, a bit of a mathematical calculation. We're going to start off by getting the 12 mil from the thickness of our coat hanger, adding three mil for the gap. You need to have a nice little gap in between each coat hanger. So we've got 30 coat hangers. So we go 15 times 30 equals 450 millimetres. Then the next step, we have to divide that by pi, not the pi from the bakery. And that gives us 143 millimetres. So we'll measure the radius of our circle on our compass. There you go. Next step is to uh, obviously cut out our circle. Alright, it's fun. Next step is to uh, just take off all these rough edges with a handy dandy belt sander. Alright, now we're going to mark out our centres for our ere kākahu. I'll try and use the uh, compass. Mark it at 15 millimetres. Scribe 15. Move to the next one. All the way around. And I know we need to square our marks down to the centre of our board. We're going to mark the centre. Alrighty, Tefano, we've got another little trick here. A few tricks of the trade. I've made this jig up. All it is is just a couple of scrap pieces of timber. I've screwed them up square. We're going to put our block into that. That's going to hold our block perfectly plumb, perfectly square. So when we use our uh, drill press, all our holes line up perfectly. We drill the 30 holes, each 10 millimetres deep. We then carefully drill holes into the coat hanger halves. Check they're lining up. Ooh, looks pretty good to me. Mark these about five millimetres deep. With the hard yards behind us, we drill out the centre hole and attach the light fitting. Go halfway with a wider drill. So now we're going to go through a smaller diameter. Now we have to uh, just gently chisel out this larger hole that we have uh, previously cut. Okay. Tidy up the edges, give it all a sand, and coat with varnish to match the coat hangers. Now the varnish is dried, mere for kapiti. Now to stick them together. So I'm using Tene Kapiarake, this wood glue to glue our dowels, dip our dowel in. With those done, glue the hanger side to the middle. I've got it up on blocks to make it easier. And let it dry for a few hours. Ko te mahi whakamutunga, this is our final step. Got the old light bulb here, vintage of course. Right, insert our light socket. It has to be a little bit careful because it is fragile. Tighten that up nice into the cure. Yep, 
He pūpunga aroha. Here we have it, Etefano. We've got a bit of a lampshade champagne taste on a beer budget. Easy enough to make it home, Etefano. Makes a nice gift. Kamu tui. Just really wait.